Hey everybody, we are here at EALA and I'm about to talk a little Dead Space e Extraction with Wright Bagwell from Visceral Games, the newly minted Visceral Games, formerly EA Redwood Shores. How are you doing, Wright? I'm doing great. All right, so Dead Space Extraction obviously is a, a prequel to the original Dead Space. What, what were you guys orig originally setting out to do with the idea for this Wii game? Well, first of all, we're really big fans of the Wii, and when we finished Dead Space 1, we just thought it would be so awesome to take the uh, strategic dismemberment mechanics that we had in Dead Space 1 and get them on a Wii remote, sort of a light gun style game. Being able to just point at the screen and blast these guys apart seemed like it would be great fun. The other thing that we wanted to do was we wanted to put the game in first person on an authored camera path because we really thought that would give us the power to do things that we've never been able to do before. So all the things they can do in horror films, we can do in Dead Space Extraction because we've got com complete control over the camera. And Dead Space being, you know, about horror, it's a big part of the franchise, uh, we thought that it would give us the power to do things that we couldn't do in Dead Space 1. So it was really exciting actually to be making a slightly different kind of game. So let's talk about what you guys are showing here today. Can you describe the, uh, the section of the game that you guys are showing off? Mm -hmm. So the level that we're showing is about a third of the way through the game. We're with four people, a group of four people, who have come from the colony Aegis 7, where the necromorph infection has broken out. And they've made their way off of the colony, and they're on a shuttle to the Ishimura. After they get to the Ishimura, they crash land on the Ishimura. They do a zero-g spacewalk, they get into the Ishimura, and they find themselves in the crew deck. And once they get there, they think that they're going to find a bunch of crew, and they think that they're going to be able to help them figure out what's going on and how to get everybody to safety. When they get there, they find that that's not the case. Is it critical that somebody had played the original Dead Space in order to enjoy this game? No, not at all. We think that they'll have a lot more fun if they had played Dead Space 1. Um, but we really tried to make sure that the story was great standing on its own. In addition to that, we really wanted to make sure that the story tied in closely with Dead Space 1 and the Dead Space comics and the Dead Space animated film. So people who have seen the film, the comics, and played Dead Space 1 are going to find a lot of really rewarding stuff in there because there's a lot of connections to the events and the characters of those other properties. So today's the first time you guys have let the press play the game, which begs the obvious question, how does the control system work in Dead Space Extraction? Have you taken all those abilities that Isaac had in the first game and adapted them to uh, the character who's going to be playing through Dead Space with, uh, with these motion controls on the Wii? So when we set out to make this game, we had one really big important thing we needed to do, which was that we wanted to keep the controls as simple as possible and to leverage the, uh, the motion controls that the Wii offered, um, but also still making sure that we kept all the stuff that made Dead Space 1 great. So the stasis and telekinesis, for example, we had to have those. And so we ended up with a control scheme that we think is, is really simple and intuitive. Uh, of course, pointing the Wii remote at the screen is how you aim. It's simple enough. Uh, you can swipe the nunchuck to do a melee attack. Uh, you've got stasis uh, on your nunchuck. You've got telekinesis on your A button. It's very, very simple to control. And uh, we've seen that when people pick up the game and first start playing, they can get into it really, really quickly. And that was a big goal of ours from the start. But as I said, you know, we've kept stasis, we've kept telekinesis, we've kept alt-fire in there. Uh, you can alt-fire by tilting the Wiimote 90 degrees. Uh, and that allows you to you'll see your cursor change into a different cursor. You've activated Alt Fire. And so all that stuff that made Dead Space really, really deep and rich, we've kept in this game. What sort of issues does the, the guided experience pose for you? Because I know a big part of the original Dead Space was the ability to sort of explore the ship and find little, little bits and goodies that you wouldn't normally find on your own if you're sticking straight to the story. So we still have that sort of gameplay, uh, even though you don't control your movement directly. Uh, you get that gameplay by, uh, by looking around the environment. Some of the things that are really valuable, such as weapon upgrades or you know big ammo caches and things like that, you'll have to look really hard to find them. So there may be uh, an ammo storage closet that you need to look for to click on to get into it. You might have to be really, really quick to get something that's hidden off in the corner of the room. In addition to that, we 
we have what we're calling a look around camera. And at specific times in the game, this camera, you'll see it's activated by there's little arrows that appear around your cursor. When you see that, that gives you the control to look around the room with your analog stick. And those play out like little mini games. When you see that little cursor appear, you have a certain amount of time you can look around the room and grab as much stuff as you can. And of course, it's really difficult to grab it all, and some of the best stuff is going to be harder to find. So we do have this sense of exploration um, because it's not very really easy to grab all the stuff that's in the world. In addition to that, we try really hard to make sure that the camera path that goes through the world makes it feel like you're really exploring the ship. So when you see the demo, you'll see that the characters aren't just walking from point A to point B in a straight line going through a sequence of doors trying to get through everything as quickly as possible. The characters feel like they're doing what you would expect them to do, which is they're investigating. They're walking around the ship, they're looking in dark corners, they're opening doors and peeking in. They're trying to find people, they're trying to be careful, and they're trying really hard to collect what they need to survive. Well, Red, I'm sure we owners don't have a whole lot of mature horror games to choose from, so I'm, I bet they're very eager, very eager to get their hands on this. So, uh, when's the game going to be released? Fall 2009. All right, right. Thank you very much. Thank you. That'll do it for Dead Space Extraction today, but stay tuned for more in the upcoming months.